made the most of this one. Believe it or not, she has written 25 books, 12 of them New York Times bestsellers. She starred in two hit sitcoms and has also helped over 10 million women squeeze their way to tighter thighs. That's why she's in our spotlight today. Please welcome Suzanne Summers. Come and knock on our door. theme song. Does that bring back all sorts of incredible memories? Good one. Good, Good one. Ones. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, what, a, what an opportunity to play uh, America's Dumbest Blonde. <laughs> <laughs> so now you've showed them, right? I guess is this next chapter a way to kind of say, you know, I wasn't that person necessarily? It, it was not conscious, you know. It's, uh, it's like with Jean Stapleton, we all figured out that she really wasn't Edith Bunker. Right. And I, th I think I probably just showed that I was a good actress, because people <laughs> really believe that I was that dumb blonde. When you started out, Suzanne, did you have any idea that Three's Company was going to become such a huge hit, and really a, a, a cultural touchstone for so many people? No idea. No idea. In fact, I had been a single teenage mother, and I'd been struggling for so many years with uh, money issues, and I just loved having a paycheck for the first time in my life. So, And then I got what an ensemble acting experience was. Working with John Ritter was just awesome. And so sad what happened to John. Oh, way unfinished, way unfinished. Meanwhile, I know after 30 years of not speaking, mm -hmm. you, you and Joyce DeWitt kind mm -hmm. of uh, were able to make amends. You reconnected mm -hmm. not too long ago. So how did that happen? I was really surprised that, that you all had a falling out and didn't speak for 30 years. That's a long time. I know. Um, I had an internet talk show last year called Breaking Through, and one of my uh, producers said to me, I took the liberty to call Joyce DeWitt to see if she wanted to come on the show, and I said, why would you, why would you do that? Who, who told you to do that? And I went back to my hotel room that night, and I thought, you know, life is about these great opportunities. Why would I push away this opportunity? And um, it was extremely emotional. And that show, my little internet talk show, that show has had over a, a million unique hits. People just keep going back to that, so. You've been married to your husband, yes. Alan, for 36 years. Yep. And you recently said, yes, you can give us a big applause for that. And you've recently Great. said you're having the best sex you've ever had. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Well, a healthy person is a sexual person. Uh, you know, it's, it's all biology. Well, first of all, I desire him to begin with. And I always, from the moment I met him, I wonder if, because he came up in every past life that I, uh, that I experienced when I did this um, past life experience in Santa Fe, when I met him, it was bam, it was instant. And I, I called my therapist at the time, and I said, I met the man I'm going to marry today. I just knew it. And 10 years later, we got married. So that's why we've been together 45, but married 36. There was a period of time where your marriage was really strained. So you haven't felt this way for, the, for all 36 years, right? I think, I think blending families is very stressful. And I was blending families at a time when my teenage stepdaughter was experiencing hormonal uh, craziness and I was experiencing hormonal craziness and this is really why I started writing these books so that women could understand that bodies talking to us all the time but how many marriages break up because we become unreasonable when our hormones are imbalanced and I really thought it was him <laughs> <laughs> he'd say why are you in a bad mood I think me no it's you it's you. <laughs> so you decided to, you were going to get a handle on this. And yeah. when we come back, we're going to be talking about your hormones right. and everybody else's. Right. That's right after this. Right. Wait. 